News Now California, out in the city of Palmdale. I'm out here today with San Joaquin, and right now we are at the Palmdale Sheriff Station. You have a drinking fountain? Yeah, it's all the way down at the end of the hall. Thank you. Do I do it on the phone or does it come out and talk to me? Because I have hard hearing. Yes. Okay. Oh, this one's too high for me. Drinking fountain, I'd pass on that water, man. Oof. That was a mistake. What's going on, sir? Now they said that if they can't get released, that goes through something, then they gotta go to court, but I feel out the paperwork, and I'm the innocent person. And everybody else is involved. Very difficult, and you're the bad guy. Well, I know that. Yeah, it's terrible. His wife, I hate her. She is such a. So they said, "Well, we got to take care of him for a little while because they're having a problem." Come to find out, she was babysitting. General Relief was paying her fourteen hundred dollars a month, and not paying me a dime. Wow. Right now. Well, I know. I went through it with my his girlfriend. Sorry to hear that story. Got her ass out. <laughs> yeah. Are yeah. you recording? Yeah, we come in and record. Huh? We come in and record to make sure that they take care of you and other people. We show transparency. Well, I don't understand. See, I got home. Ten minutes later, the sheriff show up in right. force. In force. I just walked out the back door to hear the noise. Went down. Tried to get the dogs to come back up, went to get the clicker, went down, come out here, patted me down, stay there. Wow. My back door was open. Wow. I said, I just got home. Well, they went through everything, and then he comp I had a 22 bull action at the back door. So somebody called him on you? Huh? Somebody called them on you, huh? No, it was, it was on her and her son. Okay, and then you were the bad guy. Well, because I own the property. Yeah, terrible. Wow. So it pisses me off. I told him, there's nobody in the house. I don't believe 
What was the reason that they? Uh, huh? What was the reason that they uh, did all that to you when you just came out on your property? Well, they got a call mm -hmm. from somebody. We finally figured out who it was. Right. That her son was pointing a shotgun at her mother. Okay. And that's my house is here. Got a big shop, and at the back end is an apartment my son and him stay. Okay. Come to find out. I had nothing to, I just got home. It was all back there, but instead of doing it, they had to go through everything. If I had the house locked up, they'd have probably broke in. Right. And one of them was real rude. You know his name? No. Well, it came up to my front door after it's all over with. So, what can I do? What do you need? The guy walks in, we gotta get the gun. We gotta get what gun? And I turned around and the sheriff almost pushed me out of the way and just went right in and got it. I go, wait a minute. What the hell did I do? Please do not lean on the counter. This, this uh, sheriff department's already under scrutiny for not doing their job before in the past. So it's so fucked This is why we're here to record them. I'm too goddamn old for this shit. Yeah. I don't need somebody else's problems. No. My kids. No, you don't. Not at this point. I wish you luck with it. <laughs> I'll be all right. This department's under heavy scrutiny. Huh? This department is under heavy scrutiny. Uh, we're up here also for uh, the little boy that was uh, a lot of crap going on. killed because the sheriffs didn't do their job. Uh, child services didn't their, do their job. So I just, you know, I, I hug it there. Yeah, people fly into the neighborhood. And when they come in, it don't make no difference. They kids every time. And then they tell them to stop and ask the cops to come over. So now they're going to want to know if I'm uh, legal to have guns. Yeah, see, you open. That's what they do, man. They opened up that door and now they're not going to let it go. I got news from them. If they start that shit, I've been an NRA member since 1956 with Hunter Safety. Yep. I've never been in trouble. She was here today. No. Terrible. Man. Been in the military, firefighter for 30 and a half years. And if they want to keep my gun, I'm calling the NRA and get their big lawyers down here. They want to take everybody's guns. Huh? They want to take all our guns. Yeah, they want. Yeah. I want to try to find out what excuse, excuse they have to try to keep it. Right. Because see, there's nobody in my house. No kids, no nothing. So right now they're in possession of your weapon. Huh? They have your weapon now. Yeah. No. Uh, I talked to the mayor also. You fought the mayor? No. I will talk to Steve Lombard. The, the old mayor? No, the new one. The new mayor. Oh, the new one? We met him today. Pretty nice guy. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Do you know the story of what happened to the old one? Why he's in court? No. I don't know. Good luck. I don't know. Personally, I don't know what happened. Yeah, he worked with my dad. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Can't be good. Politics and fix everything. Yep. What upsets me is now they're telling me I've got to go someplace and file a petition. Pay the money, go through all this crap, and it may take three or s to six months. Yeah. And I didn't do anything. No, no. And then they to get all your money and all your time. That's that's what they do. That's the system. Once you get involved in it, it's hard to get out. Yeah. No. Nope. I'm sorry to hear your. Oh, that was my truck with the lights on. My the next one. Oh, the next one? Yeah. 
So you can come in here and do a child exchange. A child exchange you can come in here and do. Okay, sir. So it's going to be Sergeant Benzel that you need to speak with, okay? Do what? Sergeant Benzel. Sir, thank you. Have a great day. I, yeah. Is there a supervisor to speak to? Supervisor, like watch deputy or yeah, watch, deputy. watch deputy? Okay. I'm going to go get somebody, okay? Thank you. Mm -hmm. okay, I'll be right back, okay? Okay. Sir, what did you need help with? Um, I don't know. 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 Where did it get stolen from? Was it in the city of Congress? Okay. Yeah, so like, it got stolen and like pretty much I found it on Alpha and I was going to go get it. But my boss kind of didn't want me to go get it. That's why. Sheriff. And Ronald Schaefer, the captain. Yeah. 
You know what? Everybody's different, man. If they like you, maybe five months. If they don't, longer. But that five months is vague. I mean, it could be a couple months. I know with me dealing with them on complaints, they don't, they don't respond fast. Alex Villanueva, the sheriff, and Ronald Schaefer, the captain. Sometimes they may say, ah, we don't know, where's your paperwork? So they're going to put us here on hold, guaranteed. They ain't going to come out. Catherine Barger is the supervisor of the 5th District. Here we have the uh, council members and the mayor. Thank you. Juan Carrillo, Austin Bishop is the mayor pro tem. Laura Betancourt is a council member. Richard Loa, the council member, and then Stephen D. Hoffbauer is the mayor. What, what do you think the name of the deputy was, though? And what did you see on his ID badge? No, only the said Canino, no more the That's right, what did it say? No, sé el nombre. No, you're telling me what it said, though. What did it say? Um, well, she says she doesn't know exactly his name, uh -huh. so she, uh, can she get it uh, from the dispatch, everybody that How was you there? How you doing? You the watch commander? Watch commander? Yeah. Did, did you come out to talk to us? Got the watch up, she said, the watch up was tied up. Okay, so, so you came out and you were uh, uh, Sergeant Riddle. Uh, uh, Sergeant Riddle. Riddle. Sergeant Riddle, nice to meet you. So we're out here. Is this, uh, my question is, Sergeant Riddle, is this a facility that re responded numerous times uh, for the uh, Gabriel Hernandez? Uh, I wasn't working here at the time. I used to work at Lancaster Station, so. So you don't know I believe uh, they did go out on a couple of calls to couple the residents. Yeah, okay, okay. I can't, okay. I can't really elaborate on that. So. Right, you weren't here at the time, but you no. believe they went out on a couple of calls. Yes, I'm okay. Sure. okay. Yeah, it seems like it fell through the cracks. Yeah, it seems like it fell through the cracks. Yeah, it seems like it fell through the cracks. Yeah, you know, Probably you guys, a couple you know, of different levels. This department is under a lot of scrutiny in the public eye and the court of public opinion right now. And, uh, you know, you guys have been kind of put out there that you guys are not really doing your job. And you know, what's amazing is we actually get to your town and a lot of people are complaining on your guys' professionalism. Um, so one thing that I would like to I mean, maybe just say is um, to keep in mind when you talk to... Uh, the deputies that you have out there to keep in mind the uh, the Constitution, First Amendment, Second Amendment, make sure the rights are not being violated when you have a blocker. Try to police under the whole Constitution besides those amendments. Yeah, yeah but the funny thing is uh, a lot of people, a lot of deputies, everywhere we go, we got channels that, that do this everywhere, right? Um, but uh, a lot of times you see rights are being violated and, uh, you know, a lot of times uh, just plain and simple, man. Are you guys media or are you just First Amendment auditors? Individuals, just out recording and stuff like that. You know, we understand that, you know, we have some, uh, how would I say it, some snakes on our side too. You know what I'm saying? And you know, there's snakes everywhere, so. Yeah, so. Yeah, um, that's an honest statement coming from a sheriff. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. You know, and that's the problem, man. Every, all you guys support each other. You know, it's, there's no hate from me, but I can't trust any of you guys because you all support each other, and that's yeah. the bad thing, so, man. So, so for now, you on, know, uh, I'm sure you support your family too. This isn't your family. This, this isn't your family. These are cool. No, they're like family. We spend a lot of time family. together. So. Like family. You guys got to get that mentality out That's of your wrong, family. though. That's because well, in reality, we should be your family because we pay you guys. I'm not saying you're not. You guys got to think about the people out there. I'm not going based off pay. I pay my own salary, saying? too. No, not really. We do. Well, I'm a taxpayer, too. Yeah, but you get it yeah, back. Yeah, you get it back. Yeah, but I'm just saying, it's. Yeah, but uh, you, you treat you, treat everybody. You, you, so. you can't recycle that. You can't you can't sustain your job with what you're which what you're claiming. You can't sustain that job. Only we can. Does that make sense? To treat my coworkers like family members? They're not your family members. Well, I'm They're not saying they are. It's, 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 it's they treat each other like family. It's, it's family member. It's it's a uh, it's blasphemy. I yeah. have my own family. Let, let me ask. You, I have my own. Let family. me ask you this, Sergeant Riddle. Have you ever turned in a dirty cop? Uh, yes. I'm you a have. sergeant. Yes. Didn't I call you Sergeant Riddle? Yeah, I said I'm a sergeant, and that's right. Um, yes. Sir. Right. And uh, you want to elaborate for what? Yeah. No. 
I'm not going to elaborate on that. Okay. Oh, yeah, not, not, not that I like to do it, but it, well, it needs to be done. It needs, it, to, be it needs to be done. And that's the issue. You can go into law enforcement and want to be the best LEO ever and maybe never violate anybody's rights, but once you see a colleague doing it and you don't report that, you're a dirty cop. That's just basic, fundamental thinking. I right? encourage everyone to go out and record, so that means that everyone should be considered press and... Be considered what? Press. press. Oh, everyone okay. should be considered press because that's, that's our right. Well, there's right. actual press, that's our free press, right. but no, no, there's, that's, that's, there's no, no, no. credential press and then there's... No, there isn't. What's credential? Yeah, what is well, they get a credential from the Sheriff's Department that, that allows them to go into other areas that are sometimes shut off. Restricted areas. Yes. Right, right. So, right. so that, that means the story can be... Any, anybody can film something and make it news. And not, not everybody with the camera is the First Amendment auditor. And then, or right. that's, that's just the label, you know what I mean? That's yeah. just the label. It's unofficial. Well, that's so usually... It's unofficial, but it seems like because the way you say it and present it, you, you try to make that official, but it's not. It's an unofficial term, right? right? And so I encourage everyone, just like I did this nice lady here, to get their phone. I'm not saying that's your title. And carry, and, and, as a, well, as no, a first you didn't that. You did, you did. No, I was asking if you're press or you're doing a First Amendment audit. So, come on. Man. I may have said. <laughs> I may have said you were not. Are you doing? A, I don't know. What I said for sure, but it was something along those lines. Yeah, so you said because it. it's not. It's not like your title is a First Amendment oh, auditor. Right, right. right. My title is father, a family man. Like I have a family, right? Like you said, you have a family. Mm -hmm. But I'm glad you cleared that up and understood who your real family is, because these are well, your core, man. These are your colleagues, bro. These are your colleagues. These I, are not your family. I understand that. You guys gotta understand that, man. I do understand I that understand. clearly. You, you, but I'm sure you have friends that you treat like family too. Yeah, well, they're still my friends. Right. You know what I mean? No, they're I know. Still my friends. We don't wear gang signs. You know what I mean? So I don't wear a gang sign either. Well, you support the blue line on the flag. Well, there's no tr tr uh, true blue line on a flag. Well, you guys do. Do I support one. people in law enforcement and first responders? Yes. You, 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 well, a lot of people have different opinions, I mean, on the desecration of the flag, putting that blue line to show solidarity, mm -hmm. all right? You agree with that, huh? Do I agree with the with, blue line flag? Yeah, with the blue line. Oh, I didn't make it. Somebody made it, and I they have the right to make it, so. Right. Well, you have it on your car? No. Okay. Okay, right. so this woman needed some help to make a complaint on... Uh, uh, are you being helped, right, by her? They're not wanting to help her right now. They don't want to help her. She's trying to make it. Yeah, because the officer came to her house, the deputy came to her house and treated her bad, and uh, she wants to make a complaint. But because to the watch officer, her? Uh, because he wouldn't give his name, she couldn't really give his name. But I told her one of the things that she could do is just can, request the time and we, uh, we can figure that out. Yeah, out you can figure that out for her, help her? Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's why we're here, man, to, to demand transparency nice. from you guys. I mean, you guys. We, we appreciate it when you guys act transparent, but I mean, you guys, you, especially you have to understand, you guys are under scrutiny right now, the public eye, so. Expect, it's been expect, a long time that we've been under the scrutiny of the public eye. Expect signing C to become this unofficial term that you said, the First Amendment honor, because. I see it all the time. You know what I mean? I've and spent numerous hours talking to people doing the same thing, so. Well, we realize, man, there's good and bad and everything, you know, guys yeah. doing what we're doing. I'm not going to deny that. It's, you know, it's just. It's all around the globe. It's you ever heard of channel? San Joaquin, uh, Bakersfield. Yeah. You ever hear of News Now California? Nope. All right. Well, now you have. Is that you guys? San Joaquin. The good ones. And News Now. California. Check us out. All right. Not the, what's the desert guy? I don't remember. Him. We're gonna do our best to be kind and courteous and to be professional as well. And we ask that you guys do the same thing for the people of Palmdale. No problem. We do the best we can. I'll try right. to get her helped out too. So. All right, Sergeant Riddle. Right. Thank you, man. You guys have a good day. You too. All right. Good luck to you. Fine out. Uh, si no, les ayudan. Ahí está mi email en la carta. Okay. Yo les llamo. Okay. All right, guys. So they didn't want to help that lady in there file a complaint. Uh, the sergeant said that he'd take care of it. Hopefully, he will. It was on a deputy who was uh, rude to the lady, wouldn't identify himself. So it's good to see the public coming out and filing complaints against these deputies, no matter what city you live in. If you get treated wrong, you file a complaint. Otherwise, nothing changes. And to be honest, sometimes when you file the complaint, it's a slap on the wrist, but at least you're doing what you think is right.
so it was great that uh, San Joaquin was able to translate for the lady. And with that being said, we are out of here and I'll catch you on the next one, everybody. Bye now.